Hello and welcome back to another video from Graceful Finances. I am so excited that you're joining me for a new video. I will be letting you know who won the last giveaway later on in the video. Um, and in this video, I just want to jump right ahead and show you guys my um, binders, all the ones that I have. And then I want to share something that's new with you to my shop. Um, but before we do that, I first want to just shout out Graceville Gardens because that's the candle that I'm burning. And I'll be sure that I put that link in the description box down below so that you guys can check out my Etsy store and see all the goodies that I'm adding to it. Actually, so let's go ahead and get going with what's new to my Etsy store. So I've been kind of sharing with you some of the things that are new to my Etsy shop. And so one of the things that I've added is just this cash envelope. I have one for myself and I thought that I might. I don't know yet, but I might be giving away one in this video. But the way that it's coming right now is it's coming as this set here or it's coming as this set here, if that's what you guys would like. And basically, it's just the same um, envelope, but it, it has these type of... Um, side loading or front loading top loading versus side loading and it just says household and groceries restaurant savings miscellaneous and gas and i thought this might be a great way to help someone who's new on their journey by just offering something really simple um overall very affordable um with free shipping so you get this so you have this you get this little pouch here that you can either keep your money um in or your challenges and the last thing speaking of challenges let me get one really quick. I am also going to be including a challenge of your choice with it. Oh my goodness, I can't find one of my challenges. But either way, um, I'm going to be including one of my challenges of your choice with um, this. And this is available again on Etsy. All right, let's hop right into the video. If you guys were with me in my last video, you saw how I just stuck the $5 all in here and I just wrote down all the things that I wanted. I wanted to think about it. I wanted to try it out. I didn't want to be in such a hurry to just, oh, let me go back. And this one will be the exact same thing. Um just a different binder, but I didn't want to just rush into something just to be rushing for rushing sake. No, I want to do things in decency in order, take my time, do it right. And so I really thought a lot about what I need in my life right now. So I think everyone already has seen this binder. It has inside my tithes, it has my animals, my credit cards, and then um, each child's name is in here and I stick money in there for them. So that is just when I get my YouTube or my Etsy, this well, when I get my YouTube, this is where that money goes every single time. Now, when I get my money from Etsy, that's when these things take place and I get paid on Etsy once a week. Um, so it's the same thing. I did create this um, dashboard here. It's just some vellum. It says low priority sinking fund. I did that. And I did all these. My friend, um, when I first started wanting to take a debt-free journey, she created something for me and it, it was really no longer exactly functional the way she did it, but she spent so much time and energy and love. And this has been my friend for, oh my goodness, probably 10 years. She did this for me in 2018. What a labor of love. And so what I did was I deconstructed them and made them fit into here and, and made them work for me. And so this one says date night and they each have a little slip inside. Um, this one says eating out. It has the slip. This one says clothes. This one says shoes. Keep in mind, we are a family of seven. Um, this one says Cam's graduation because my son will be graduating and I want to go ahead and get a start on that. Um, this one says gifts. This one says bulk food and supplies. This one says maintenance and that'll be like um, car and house maintenance. So this is my low priority sinking fund. I am not able to start on this yet. I would do another um, folder uh, later or another binder and that one would be one month ahead. I've already created the dashboard, but since I am low income and since I'm still working on my emergency fund, then we're not gonna um, go any further 
with this one month ahead. You, for me, I don't think you really can be one month ahead and you're, you know, you're still in debt. I still have my credit cards. I still have a lot of other things. So I'm going to just focus on the main thing and keep the main thing, the main thing right now. If I am able to change some things, then I'll be doing things a little bit differently. So I have not been able to stuff any of these yet. Again, it's my lowest on the list. Um, so let's go into what my second priority um, binder would be. And it's what I call my high priority sinking funds. Now, I again created this dashboard. I didn't laminate it, but I just, I thought it was really cute. So I did make these envelopes. I thought it was so cool. I did it with like the peekaboo vellum and stuff. And so, and then I just added some vinyl to the top. I'm not going to be adding these to the shop. It's very time consuming again. <laughs> mommy, mommy of five. And I got some uh, chicks about to hatch and I will be having some ducks hatch soon and a bunch of other things, garden season, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't have time to make these, but I did want to make them for myself. And so this one says self-care. Not that I'm putting me first, but at the same time, if I don't take care of me, how am I going to take care of my children, my animals, my home, all the other things, my spouse, um, my time with the most high God. And so, yeah, we're going to make sure that I can get in there some kind of way because I've always not been, I put everybody and everything before, and it's nothing wrong with me taking time for me. Next up is the gardens. Um, the gardens really go with this one, with my YouTube. But for now, while I still have the credit cards there, because that is what funded the business, um, I'm going to be paying that off. And then this will move up because it's definitely going to be, if I don't have money for anything else, it's going to be money for my tides, for my gardens, for my animals. So, and my credit card. But when the credit card is gone, the gardens will definitely move there because that is what we're here for. We're at Gracefield Gardens and we, I guess are moving towards Gracefield Farm, but that's another video for another day. Birthdays, because we don't celebrate a lot of things. And so the one thing that we do celebrate and make a big deal of is birthdays. And so there is seven of us. I have a goal to have $40 for everybody's birthday in here. Um, so super excited for that. For those of you who don't know, I'm a homeschool mama. I think this is getting ready to be my 11th year homeschooling, or I don't even know at this point. It's been a long time. So um, I do save up for here. I think that I'm going to have a book sale on... Um, I think I'm going to have a used book sale to sell some of the books I have and maybe that money can go here or just go into one of the other areas. So that's going to be really helpful. We don't eat out often. We might eat out uh, just a couple times a year, like maybe for birthdays or something. But again, because we are a large family, every time we go out, it's going to be probably $100 or close to it. And so we can cook for that <laughs> and not even have to worry about a tip. So um, technically, I probably should have another binder for business. But for right now, since I don't have um, the funds to do all the things technically businesses would do, listen, baby, this channel... We're starting small. We're starting where we are. We're doing small things with excellence and grace, okay? We're moving from step to step, and we're not trying to be in a hurry. We're not trying to rush. We're not trying to be like anybody else. We're just doing what we can do, okay? And so my business binder literally is going to be in the same binder, and it's only going to have three things, and that's events and travels because I have three events right now that I have in mind that I want to... um save up for and go to one event is like 125 another event yeah very expensive um i've got two more outside of that one so i really need to focus and prioritize this because i have an event in about three weeks and i need the funds i'm like father could you provide for your daughter <laughs> so i could go to these events um next up is the office supplies when we talk about office supplies i'm talking about printing paper sticker paper i'm talking about anything like that anything that i need to just like run like the tissue paper the boxes all of that kind of stuff like the behind the scenes vinyl anything like that that's more of an office supply and so I have a space for that but I also have a place for raw supplies and that is because I make candles you know I make wax melts you know I make bars of soap and things like that and so I really need to have that raw um, place in the binder so that when I need more supplies for this stuff or when I need more items like when I need stuff to make the soap when I need all of that I can have it and I'm not running out like right now I'm running really really low on bath bombs and your girl needs some stuff Speaking of raw supplies and bath bombs, I thought that I would share a few with you. This is like the mini spa tablet that I sell for $2. And I just have a few others. This one has like roses and glitter. And this one has like 
sea salt and I mean they have all sorts of amazing things this is a donut I have another one that has like lavender and oatmeal there's more but yeah so those are like the raw supplies that I'm talking about like when I'm saying like I need to to buy supplies like I need raw supplies like that's what I'm talking about so um anyway that is all for this particular um planner and it is my again my high priority and business just mixed together I don't need another binder for that so um this is what I have right now this is what I'm working with I am being faithful I am being diligent and committed even with a little and I'm telling you that things will change you know my situation will change I just continue to be faithful you know as I just continue to be a good steward over what I have so um what else did I want to share with you oh okay so yeah the only reason why I'm not gonna put this in there and I guess I could is because um if you watched the last video you know I think I had a 20 in there and so I I wasn't able to break that 20 but I mean ah since we're here <laughs> Since we're here, we might as well, right? Like, just go ahead and take care of that. And then later on, we can come back and we can add the other five once I get, you know, once I'm able to get changed. So, um, and I noticed some people, it might be like, wow, well, stuff, let me talk. Like, why are you not prioritizing date night? And it's just because we just take date nights here. You know, having five kids, it's just going to be such a, you know, the people want so much for a sitter and, um, it, it's just a lot of things but so we kind of have date nights in and what I would rather do is save a bunch of money so that when we go um, back home to visit um, we can leave the kids with grandma with aunt or somebody like that and then we can take that money and we can really go out and so I was just talking to my husband like we should save like we should put the money to the side for date nights and things like that, but we should really work on just saving it all so that when it is time for like um, our anniversary, because I think we're going on 15 years now, that we can go ahead and, you know, take the whole weekend and just enjoy because we have the money there versus going on a mediocre date because there's not a lot of um, vegan or vegetarian restaurants here and that is how I eat. It's not how he eats and I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm just saying for me. And so uh, with that being said, I love when I go out and I can get Jamaican or Indian or um, some type of ethnic food. It just really makes me happy. I do make curries and things like that at home. Um, but, you know, <laughs> there's always something good to, to being able to go out and to eat or whatever. Actually, um, I, I wasn't, I think I actually had a little bit of money in here to, yeah, I think I had some money here to go into these. But, like I said, I do need to get some change. Um, I think I added a few of these at the end. Because I think in that video I said I was going to do 11 envelopes. And I had $5 for each of the 11 envelopes. And I think I went ahead and added the business in here. Because I do think that's a necessity. So, technically, those three <laughs> really need to go over here with these four. Which makes seven. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's exactly how many I have over here. But, you know, by the time it's time to talk about this and do this again. I'm just believing I'm going to have the money to be able to stuff that too. So, Either way, whether I do, whether I don't, I just appreciate you being here for another video. I appreciate you watching this and I decided that I am going to go ahead and give this away. Um, I will be, hmm, let's see, what should we do? How about this? I got a better one. Whoever makes a purchase Whoever is the first one to make a purchase on my Etsy shop and enter into the comments, Grace Field Finances will get this with your order for free. The first person. So I'm going to say it again. The first person who purchases something, not the PDFs because that, that's done a different way. Um, but the first person to purchase something physically from my Grace Field um, Etsy shop and types in Gracefield finances in the little note section this will be included with your order for free um just to say thank you for watching and thank you for supporting i think that's a great um way 
I just want to thank all of you for watching, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing. Um, and I know that I do a video a giveaway in each video and I don't ever post giveaway because I don't want people to follow me for giveaway. I want people to follow me because they truly love and enjoy me and my content and my style and what I have going on here. And you really are cheering me on and you want me to win. Um, and like I said in another video, I am only where I am, which to some is very far, to some not far enough or not far at all. But I am where I am from the gifts and love of others. And so I forever want to share um, that gift and love. And there may be a time that I can't give away something every video, but it's my hope and my prayers that I can be known as a generous and loving person and that grace um, will just spew out of me, abide in me, and um, be something that I'm remembered for, for love and for grace. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back um, for another video. I will leave the winner of last I will leave the name of the winner from the last video right here. If this is you, make sure that you reach out to me so that you can claim your prize from the last video. All right, until the next video, blessings.